They say that the age of innocence is your childhood. After all, that's when your behavior is still developing, and you absorb the habits of those around you. But the society we live in is cruel and unusual. It's filled with emotional torture. The kids that are different, the kind, malleable ones, are marked as weak by their peers in this existential game of the social food chain. It's brutal, I know. We are the outcasts, the isolates, the lifelong carnies of the carnival. Oh, look what you made of me. I promise I did not mean to do anything wrong. She started it. It was only a little fuss, I swear. But she was so rude. If she wasn't so rude, I would have been fine. Such a shame. She looked like an angel. You'd think she would have acted like one. But she didn't. It's ironic, you know. She thought I was weak and flawed and some kind of social injustice just cowering away. I wasn't the weak one, though. She was. God, she was so weak. It was pathetic. And she screamed so much. It was really quite irritating. No, it was infuriating. I promise you. The only thing I saw, the only thing I felt, was red. It was everywhere. The ground, the trees, my hands and arms, my mouth. I remember the feel of it. It felt so nice. Hand to God, I didn't know bodies could believe so much. It was red ivy coating the grass twisting around her body, flicking across her face and into her frozen, open eyes and crawling all around her. Beautiful.